Hi lovelies, we're running away from the kitchen again today to talk about wine. This is Through the Grapevine, a series where we talk about and discover what type of wines we like and we pair it with the food that we like. We're throwing the rules out the window today. It is dry season and for me that is eating outside or picnic season. So today we are going to try a Sauvignon Blanc which at the base you just need to know that it is white and fruity. <laughs> of course we're gonna do what we normally do. We read the labels of the wine to see what we're getting into. <laughs> it's a Vina Mapau and it's the classic series Sauvignon Blanc and it's a wine of Chile. The label uh, at the back says that it is 11.5% alcohol. Always read the percentage of alcohol so you know what kind of trouble you're getting into with these wines. Right, so basically they're saying as a description, it's refreshing, it's fruity, and it's brilliant. Let's see how brilliant this wine is. I would have mentioned before, different wines come with different ways to open, different tops. This is a screw top today. Now, because it is hot outside and we live in the Caribbean, it is quite fine to chill our wines. We chill white wines, serve it at a temperature that you like so that it is even more refreshing. So we're gonna just start off with a quick taste. Starting with the nose. <laughs> mm, this is a really nice, very fresh and a very upbeat kind of smell. Mm. I am getting like a limey, apple-y kind of flavor with this. This is what immediately hits me. One more taste. Um, I would say that there is some peach. I'm getting a little bit of peach. I'm sure there are other flavors, but these are the ones that stand out to me. It's very refreshing, nice and light. And because I was in a rush today and this is a last minute picnic, I just decided to do some like chips with a little pico de gallo and a little guacamole. So let me set up that snack and then we can taste both together. Okay, so the flavors that I choose, my chips are very salty and I think this will pair really well with that lime flavor in the wine. I've also added some additional fruit elements. So I have some pineapple, I have fresh parsley, fresh garlic, a little lime zest in here as well and I season it up a little spicy as well. So there is salt and spicy and a little sweet from the pineapple. And then we're going to go in with a beautiful texture in the guacamole, which I actually didn't put a lot of salt here because we want to balance out the flavor in our cute little snack. <laughs> so we're going to have, I am so sorry, I did not pour you a glass. Let's don't break protocol, okay? <laughs> You're all right. One glass for you. And I'm going to top up mine. There we go. All right, let's snack and see. Ooh. My lovelies, I must say, this is probably my favorite picnic setup. Today, we had the pleasure of trying the Pinot Grigio, which we paired with pico de gallo, chips, and some guacamole. Nice and fresh. I want to remind you that when shopping for wine, make sure to read the label so you can have an idea what kind of experience you can look forward to and what flavors the wine offers. And this also helps with pairing the wine with your favorite snacks as well. My lovelies, such a pleasure hanging out with you today at this picnic. Please be sure to like, follow and subscribe right here on YouTube. Check out Instagram and I'm always doing some fun stuff on TikTok. <laughs> this has been Trudy Grapevine. Look out for our sip tip at the end. Bye.
My lovelies, I heard it through the grapevine that there is a special way to pour wine. Now, I am no expert, but I want to share with you how I pour wine in the most comfortable way for me. Hopefully, it's helpful to you. So, there is usually a sink at the bottom of the bottle. Some sinks are deeper than some. So, I put my thumb in. And then I always let the label show to the customer. Of course, if you're serving at home, you don't have to do that. But in restaurants, you want to let the customer see the label. And I balance just like this. This takes a little practice. It takes a little hand strength, but practice, you will get used to it. And then I simply tilt my glass to meet the top of the bottle. And I gently pour. And then I give a little twist, just like that. A little shoulder, a little like this. <laughs> and then... Our wine is poured, you can cover it back. It's just like this. All right, so that is my sip tip for today. Cheers.